Right here at Kent's Java Bar, let's go check it out. So Sherry, tell me a little bit about uh, opening your business here, the Kent Java Bar in Corden. We opened in 2013 and we were in another location. It was it, just one of those things that I've always wanted to open a coffee shop, always dreamed about it, never thought I would do it. And I reached a point in my life where certain doors were closing and the doors to open a coffee shop just kept opening over and over again until I finally realized, I think I'm supposed to open a coffee shop. <laughs> and I just, I walked away from my full-time job and gave it 100% and um, never looked back and I've never regretted that. <laughs> and I understand that this is your 10th year and that you're planning a party coming <laughs> up end of this year or beginning of next year. Yes. Yeah, we'll be celebrating our 10th anniversary um, somewhere between December and February. Um, and um, our, our actual anniversary date is uh, December 13th. Uh, so yeah, we'll have you know, special prices and, and just a lot of fun that day and not really don't have the plan all together yet but we really want to have a big celebration that's wonderful so I understand that the bar is actually named for your husband who died a number of years ago yes my husband his name was Kent um, he passed away in 2007 after a five-year battle with cancer and he uh, was very active in the community he worked uh, at the local gas company and um, his his biggest love was baseball, youth baseball. He coached baseball teams after he got too old to play, and um, just you know he loved kids. He loved the community, and a lot of people here locally knew him. And we just felt like um, this shop needed to be named in his honor and to keep his memory alive. And uh, so I'm I'm hanging on to every opportunity to do that that I can and I so like that. I think he would be proud of me today. <laughs> I think he would. So um, the coffee shop uses exclusively Quills coffee beans that yes. are roasted locally? Yes, um, they're roasted in Louisville, Kentucky and we um, order our beans on Sunday night and they roast them on Monday. We get them on Thursday and we, we order every week so that we've always got fresh roasted beans. My niece, Haley Prophet, uh, is our baker, and she keeps us filled with wonderful scones. Our signature pastry is orange cranberry scones. We cannot run out of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the customers just have loved those from day one. So uh, she makes scones, muffins, cinnamon rolls, turnovers, uh, just a, a big variety of sweets to go along with the coffee. Are there any coffee products that you'd like to highlight? We just last year started serving the coffee flights where uh, customers can, if, a lot of times they're undecided on what flavor to get. So if they get a flight, they get a, a five ounce serving, uh, four different flavors of a latte that they can pick from. So that has taken off and done really well. And you know, it's in, in, in addition to that, it's just, it's a great experience to come in with your friends and um, just kind of make an afternoon of it and enjoy your coffee flight. We also serve pour overs. That'll, you know, it's another experiential thing um, that people enjoy, mostly uh, in the winter, you know, just coming into yeah. a cozy sh coffee shop um, on a cold day and, and having someone make you a pour over. It, it's a neat little experience. You can take your coffee to go. You can uh, enjoy your cup downstairs, or you can come up to the lounge upstairs. Yeah, our upstairs area was uh, designed for a quieter space for our guests who want to get away from a little bit of the noise and, and um, I know that from the machinery or from other customers. It's just a little quieter up here and um, easier to concentrate. Uh, and then we also rent out the upstairs um, for small business meetings or you know any type of small gathering. Um, you could seat about 25 people comfortably out here. If you're looking for a great cup of coffee, come down and join me at the Kent Java Bar.